Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, I thought I'd give you all uh, an update. I think I, I pretty much finished my system. There, there, I, I want to try to get some uh, Microsoft Office, yeah, I know, uh, programs installed on my uh, MacBook Air. I got them on my iMac, but I haven't got them on this yet. Uh, I'm still running GDM on my MacBook Air, uh, mostly because if uh, <clears throat> if I don't. Uh, even though I have, here I'll just go ahead and go to it. Uh, cd dot big cd gtk three. Oops. You know, even though I have all this stuff set up, uh, everything's you know nine size font. Uh, <clears throat> when I um, when I start things like Nautilus, even though it comes up now as a size 9 font <clears throat> everywhere, uh, when I use Slim, for some reason, just on my MacBook Air, uh, it defaults back to 12, size 12 fonts, and it's just completely blown up out of, uh, <clears throat> out of proportion. And so I haven't figured that out yet. I think it, there's, a, there's a section in Awesome Wiki where you use a gtk.mine. I haven't done that. Lazy, I guess. The GDM seems to work really well. I, I know there's kind of a, a principle to the thing reason to uh, to use Slim for this operating system or for this uh, window manager, it, just to be minimal. But uh, you know, I, I'm running Slim on my on my MacBook Air, running Awesome and Arch and everything, just very similar to this system, and it works fine. Uh, just just haven't been able to get it to work. I've got all the same stuff installed. I can't explain it. But anyways, still working on it. So yeah, let's uh, let's go through. Uh, updated my website or my channel I should say I uh, just got a new background to it um, I added the uh, let me go to my video manager I added uh, I think it was to the first one I added my PS1 uh, so everybody can take a look at it I posted it to pastebin uh, so if I open that up and go to it No, I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. <clears throat> there it is. Uh, you should be able to open it up. Uh, you one one step you might need to do if you don't have a dot dot bash rc on uh, <clears throat> on root. So if you cd to root, uh, well, I'm gonna have to do a sudo cd root. <laughs> Gotta learn how to type here. Uh, cd to root less than a to find it. Okay, so if you don't already have a uh, .bash rc, then what you'll need to do is run cp copy etc scale, and I'd, let's just go there. So let's do cd to etc scale and take a look about what's in here. So you can you can get your bash rc here. You can get an xinit rc. So when you run a uh, setup awesome or sorry slim, you use that. If you use xdm, xdm, then you need an x session as well. But yeah, so what you do is you just copy uh, etc scale dot bash rc to root, and you'll get that there. Once you have it there, uh, let's see if I can. Once you have it there, then you can just go nano or whatever your preference is, dot bash rc. Um, this is not the right one. Hmm. Well, anyways, yeah, you're, uh, oh, that's, that's because I'm in scale. Okay, cd to root. That was confusing. Nano dot, oh, it's first, let's see it, ls dash a. It's right here. So I'm going to first, I'm going to remove this. Squiggly. I hate having backups. It's just ugly. <clears throat> so we just nano uh, dot bash rc. So this is what you're gonna, and it's too long to post here. Uh, you can't see. Well, let's just go to full screen so you can see it. So there, there it is. There's the PS1 that I use for root. 
I have Archie in here and I went with a custom color scheme. <coughs> Sorry, as you can see here. Just changed it to red and blue just because I wanted to go in there. I think can't remember exactly where it was. I think it's, I wonder where it is. Uh, CD2. Yeah, sorry. I can't remember where Archie, the Archie config is. But uh, anyways, that's what I did. <coughs> you can go in there and, and screw around with, with the color schemes. So anyways, uh, that's the that's my PS1s. And of course, we do uh, <coughs> so nano dot bash RC. Then that's the, uh, that's the PS1 for home. So now make sure you have your color auto up there so you get the nice colors uh, when you do the... Uh, Folders will be blue, and normal files are, are this color. Whatever your back, your basic color is. From uh, in this case, it's uh, GNOME Terminal. Okay, so that's that. Anybody that wanted it. Uh, next thing is I updated the upgraded the menu. Uh, so now I have updated my uh, added a suspend and a shutdown, and a log out, which was just. Uh, close or quit added a bunch of new stuff here and with icons and a sub menu as well <clears throat> so let's take a look about how I did that uh, so I'm going to bring up I'm using sublime as my uh, editor here and for some reason Lua kit is showing through so I'm going to change through the so, so I'm using Lua kit which is it's an awesome minimal uh, uh, website, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, web browser, but sometimes it causes trouble, things like showing through like that. But anyways, um, here's here's my RC Lua. Uh, last time, I think I showed you uh, the easy way. So if we do uh, get, uh, get bookmark, and we go to, no, nope, that's not going to work. So we're going to go to uh, open, and we're going to, It's going to be, I'll just open a new tab. So we're going to go to uh, google.com. Allow 50. Let me go to manager. And let's add wiki. So if you go to uh, down here to auto start, and we did it the easy way. The simple way they call it, uh, I recommend. Uh, so you don't have a bunch of uh, when you restart Awesome as you're customizing, you'll get like two or three WIC things here, and you, some of the stuff like this battery mon st still uh, still uh, still uh, comes up with with doubles. But uh, yeah, you use this uh, run once function. So you just put that in here. Function run once. <coughs> Add all your uh, stuff that you like. Like I said, battery mon still shows up twice sometimes. Uh, but uh, that's about it. Uh, next, all this stuff's pretty common, or the same from last time. You update your tags here for your workspaces. Ended up going with seven. Uh, here's my changed. I did the things like awesome restart comes basic or comes already with it. I uh, I installed debus suspend. Uh, so if you just do do a uh, yaourt debus suspend. <clears throat> debus shutdown, so it gives you a bunch, it gives you halt, reboot, suspend, and hibernate with debus, and then pretty much the command would be sudo su, and you do uh, debus suspend, enter, and it'll, you'll go into suspend, suspension. <clears throat> you might need to do uh, gk su, gk su debus, uh, because you might need root permission to do it. Sometimes my lap top here on my MacBook Air. I don't need GKSU, but on my iMac I do. Probably something to do with, with, uh, with those types of permissions in the background. I don't understand why. But anyways, deep, try debus suspend. If it 
doesn't work, use GK su debus suspend, same with shutdown. Uh, you will have to enter a keynote or a key ring uh, as you log in each time, but that's pretty easy to do. I use just shutdown dash capital P now, that's a power down immediately. Uh, I'm ready to use my Windows, um, <clears throat> but I, I haven't gotten them installed yet. Um, so here's the main menu uh, from before. So we had the things like Pavu control. Here's the name that comes up on the screen as you click. Here's the command. It's the same as going up here. I'm using a MacBook. It's Command R, whatever your Mod 4 key is. Same as going uh, Super R and just going uh, Pavu and just tabbing over and anything. Just keep it in tab. If it's something like GNOME, you're gonna have a bunch. So if we do GNOME and tab, you're gonna have a whole bunch. Tab, 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 tab. Uh, so you know. So here's your name. Here's the command. And then I did. Uh, I did this, uh, what I did is open up this way, uh, go to Nautilus. I created, uh, this is your home directory, so I did uh, control H for hidden, config, awesome. I created this uh, icon. You can't make any changes. Notice that the lock is here. You need to be root to, to do that, so if I go to the same thing, I have uh, root Nautilus here, which opens up <clears throat> the same thing, but it's the GK Su version. So <clears throat> the difference being that I have a GK Su here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, so yeah, there's the GK Su version. You notice where you are here is at uh, basically at root, right at the hashtag. So you know, versus here you're at you were at home you were here. So. When you make icons, you have to go, you know, home, MSJ, so control H, config, awesome. You notice now icons are modifiable. So <clears throat> what you do is you'll, you'll have like a, you have like a uh, icons folder. In my case, control H to hide the hidden. I have an icon folder that I just go online and I search for, you know, Skype icon, and I picked the one I like. I was checking to make sure that it's clear background, just opening it, that it has a clear background. Yep, it does, so I save it. And then I copy it into uh, username.config, awesome, same place as where your RC Lua is. So you notice I just copy them straight into here. And then you can reference them using home username config awesome icons, and then just change the name uh, to to fit. I recommend doing this one at a time, one line at a time. Recon restart awesome. Make sure that it doesn't break your system, break awesome where you have to restart it. And you can comment it out or figure out maybe you missed a dot or something or you didn't capitalize the I here. Anything off at all there, you're gonna it's gonna hang up and crash uh, awesome on you. So just do one at a time. Remember that uh, this apps menu is a sub menu. I'm calling it here. So if you want to create a menu, call it whatever you want here. Open close brackets, same format as here. Commas after everything but the last one, so check that, and that should be good. Um, let's see anything else? That's pretty much it there. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. It's uh, if you have any. Oh, I'm thinking about um, thinking about trying. Oops. I'm going to cancel, C, exit, damn it. <sighs> I'm just going to close this. <clears throat> so I'm thinking about trying um, Gentoo. Uh, just, <clears throat> just because I like the idea of portage. Uh, being able to put use flags like, um, you know, GTK only or QT only or GNOME only or KDE only, all that kind of stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I'm I'm gonna try. I've tried once already to uh, to uh, this this machine's triple booted. I have Arch on on SDA two and I had Ubuntu on SDA three, and I can't really use those types of releases anymore. And then Windows seven Windows seven on SDA four. 
Uh, I've tried one time to uh, put Gen2 on uh, <coughs> SDA3, and I'm trying to use Grub to, uh, so if we, uh, let's go ahead and quit out of that. So if we do nano uh, boot Grub, Grub.cfg, I've, uh, permission denied, love it when that happens. Always got to remember everything. So I've tried. Uh, so there's Arch, and then here's Gen2. I've tried to do this, but I haven't uh, haven't figured it out yet. It's there. It's installed on uh, SDA3, as you can see right. Where is it? Somewhere in here says SDA. Yeah, SDA3. But it's having issues with it. So I'm going to try to use Grub2 installed under this system, under Arch, to boot Grub, and I haven't quite figured out how to do it yet. So I'm still working on it. But I, like I said, I really like the idea of the uh, portage. Uh, oops. So I'm going to try to uh, try to do that, work on that next. Maybe we'll uh, do some more uh, tutorials if you're interested. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and download it, and uh, yeah, let me know if you have anything else you want to see. If you saw anything on here you didn't understand or whatever, I'd be happy to help. I'll talk to you later.